Hey guys, it's me, Vix123 with a Minecraft Hunger Games tips and tricks video. I've spent hours over the last few weeks putting together some tips and finding examples of them in previous videos with the help of a few subscribers. So I've been spending ages doing that and I have it completed and ready to voice over and explain to you guys. Some of it may come across as self-explanatory, but hopefully um, some of it will also be useful to you guys. Feel free to leave a like rating for the time that has gone into it. And if you want to share it with people, who you might see struggling then feel free to do so but uh, we're gonna jump pretty much straight into it with the tips that we have for you guys so uh, here we go in with the first one which is learn the armor rankings and weapon rankings. It's the most simple thing to do, but it will give you a big advantage. The weapons do now have attack bonuses, but even so, those are the ones you want to be going for, starting from the worst on the left to the best on the right, and the inventory at the bottom is what I like to use as my perfect inventory when I've sorted it all out, just as a guide. And up next, we have the second tip, which is quite simply use a bow and flint and steel when being chased by someone with better equipment or a larger team than the team you're in yourselves because they are, really are the best tools in Hunger Games that basically rely on skill rather than just the equipment going on. You can be under-equipped completely by someone and with a flint and steel and a bow, you can keep them away and you can uh, usually win the battle. So this is just an example of me doing just that. A nice combination of bow hits, flint and steel will usually leave you in a fairly decent situation. I do nearly die here, you guys may remember this game, it was the perfection episode, but I do manage to win the battle with just one heart there, and we've got another short example of that from a previous episode here, where again I run into a team of two, and uh, I probably would have been killed had I not decided to fall back and switch to the bow. Here I'm just trying to get away, and uh, there we go, the arrow hit one, then I believe I hit the second, and the third there, which does save me from that guy there, so it can be super useful. The next tip is aim to be below your opponent. Their hitbox will be closer to you than yours is to them, meaning you can put out a lot of hits on them before they can do the same to you. This works especially uphills. That's an underwater example. This is an uphill example where I'm able to put up much more um, damage, put out many more hits than this guy is able to here, and he's got better armor than me, but I am able to pick up the kill very narrowly there, nearly get taken out by the spider web. And here again, another example of that using that same technique to take out a double team here. You can see that I am just trying to stay you know, below them and often they'll even hit the block that is next to you on the floor and actually not you. So again here, as soon as I see the second guy, I'm trying to get below him, I move down. And again, that is the only reason I'm able to win that fight. Now the fourth tip, I didn't have the greatest example of this, but when you sprint, jump, and then you hit as you uh, land on the ground, it does actually a crit hit, which will knock an opponent back. And if you saw in the beginning of that clip, I did knock someone into that ice ravine. So that works. And now the fifth tip is don't be afraid to retreat. When running away, find cover that's two blocks high, and then spam jump to glide forwards faster. And actually, at the end of this tip, um, well, this is actually to chase people, but you'll see that this is another great example of the hitbox thing. I'm able to really easily kill this guy by being below him with my hitbox. Um, when he does turn around to try and hit me, he's not even able to just because I'm staying below him. And then you see that, look how many hits I did there. But then the opposite happens with his teammate. Look how much his teammate's able to hit me. So I had to retreat there. And now, um, oh yeah, this is another example, just using water and again, staying below the people you're trying to kill. You know, if you are weak, try and draw people into water, get below them. Again, that's something we're going to look at later. My teammate there, Danny, he uh, snuck out behind them, managed to put out a few hits, unfortunately he does die. But again, you can see I'm staying below this guy here meaning I can put out quite a lot more hits, and he couldn't see me so well. Then there's another guy trying to do the same to me right there, and bows are really, really useful when you're in water because it's near impossible for the other person to block them, or dodge them, sorry, they can block, but uh, they can't really dodge them, so uh, that is a nice way to do that, and I believe I run out of arrows here, but again, I go for the same plan, and I go underneath the attack, so that's that one right there. And this is another tip, when you are in trouble and you are running away, find a ladder or vines or something you can climb up and you'll find that once you're at the top of it, you can just keep knocking whoever's chasing you off and you'll be safe, you can take as much time as you need, if you've got a bow you can shoot down, you can even have someone else run in from elsewhere and uh, kill them while they're distracted, just like that, so ladders and vines can be a really awesome way to get away. 
And the next one we're going to move on to is this is a good way to stop people from escaping. If you're able to, hit them towards a wall. So here, if I'd have hit that guy just as the first second I'd, I'd have been able to, I would have hit him off the edge and he would have been able to escape. But as you see there, I pinned him up against the wall and just kept hitting him to make sure he couldn't get away. This guy here, I actually hit him and I crit hit him towards that vine. So you get stuck on the vine, slowed down and I can pick up that kill right there. This is just a way I like to go into attacks is I rush in quickly and then when I get to the actual person I'll just be walking forward and hitting them upwards so again it's the hitbox thing they're further away from me this is another tip right here whenever you can throw away all the junk items in your inventory just throw them into a chest so you don't need them because once you've done that you can uh, go and pick up more items and actually after this clip I've got an example of where I hadn't cleared out my inventory and it really sucks a lot of people are saying like, why don't you just sort it out when you get to the items which you can do which I'm doing here but it's it's not the most efficient way it's easier if you can just pick the stuff up and run because right here this guy's way more kitted out with me using the bow i do manage to kill him but uh, i'm really su i'm super weak when he dies as you'll see in a second and i couldn't pick up any of that loot i couldn't get the diamond i couldn't get any armor and there's someone else coming in on the attack so i had to just get away i had to get out of the area and actually i probably should have died here um but this is again me trying to slip away and i do believe i use the uh, block gliding thing uh, just just under here I uh, jump spam you can see here just just that little that little extra boost just helps you get away I do it again around the corner so it can be super useful just for getting away from people who are trying to kill you and what do we have up next also a quick tip is that when you're throwing stuff in chess you can just shift click it all out and what you're seeing right here is if you get a sword off the uh, start game and you're wanting to win then just go in with that sword because you've got to remember everyone else has been looting all of these high value chests right at the middle you can have a teammate distract them set them on fire whatever as you see my teammate doing there and then you can just go in and you can pick up a lot of good kit i mean look at all of that stuff there you know that's probably you know the equivalent of looting three or four chests because the middle chests are usually of higher value than the ones in the map and uh, sometimes you might even have people trying to team up on you but with a sword they have no chance you can just stack up loads of extra good items just like that and you're ready to start the game with a huge advantage. Then you don't even have to go and loot chests yourself. You can just hunt people down. They do the work for you. They've looted maybe five, six chests. You kill them, get all of the items from those chests. And you're pretty kitted up. You're in a really good position, as you can see. Same again right here. Um, this map, if you can get a sword, you can do so much damage because everyone goes into this middle section here. You can just destroy every one of them. If it's a server that has a point system as well, you'll get loads of points from doing this. But um, I'd say this is only something worth doing if you really, really want the win because uh, otherwise you're going to have a more, um, more probably enjoyable game if you uh, play it a little more slowly and, you know, let some people survive. And actually, you can scare people off the middle chest as well, meaning you can get all of the loots out of them, as you see me doing here. Look at all this stuff. I mean, if you look at the inventory already, I have loads of loads of useful items. Um, if I have a team that I can give them loads of kit as well. So it's definitely something that is worth doing. And uh, now on to the next one. So this is something that... You know, here I pretty much would have been dead, but I draw the enemy into the water. I don't have a weapon, but I just have my bow and arrows. And once again, as you've seen earlier, very easy to uh, pick up a kill. You can tell he's trying to go underneath me so I can get his hitbox. Also, a uh, piece of advice is when someone is trying to shoot you with a bow, go really far underwater because the amount the arrow drops by underwater changes um, depending on the distance underwater you are. So it's actually really hard to hit someone when they're deep underwater and far away. Obviously, you know, you need to make sure you uh, don't drown while doing that, but it is something that can work quite well. So that's that's another piece of advice there. Just trying to put this all together for you guys. It literally took me so long to find real in-game examples of every single one of these, just to prove I'm not just saying them. For the sake of saying them, this is something I like to do a lot. Here we go. You see, I knock that person back into the other two people. They all start fighting and they're distracted. Then I come back in, steal some of the loot because they didn't have an empty inventory I did then I can sneak out someone else comes in so just by there being a distraction I can run off here with all of those loot just like that a quick way to descend is uh, just to sprint jump hop on vines it's a quick way to get around the map and the last one I have for this video is uh, look at a cobble or a plain surface or brick surface to spot name tags really easily shift to hide your player tag 
and then you can sneak attack people just like that. So that is it for the Minecraft Hunger Games tips and tricks. The video went surprisingly fast considering how long I spent making it. If you guys could leave a like rating and share it with some people, that would be much appreciated. It honestly has taken ages to cut out all of those clips from all of the episodes I have made. You guys can see all of those episodes by clicking the link for the playlist on screen in the description. If you want to see the most recent Hunger Games episode I've posted, there's a link for that on screen and in the description. There's all my social media below, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Twitch TV, live streams, my main channel, all that great stuff. So feel free to check out any of those things. And other than that, I do hope you enjoyed. I hope some of this was useful. If it was, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you guys soon.